What is going on guys? We are back and today we're going to be starting a brand new Surviving With series. So you can probably already tell from the title, but it's going to be Surviving With Rotary Craft. Now a lot of you guys requested this and you have been for a really long time. So on the last video, this was the most voted for for the technical mods, but you guys have pretty much been requesting this ever since like halfway through my immersive engineering series. I've gotten a comment almost every video, at least every other video saying play Rotary Craft. So we're going to be playing that now and pretty much all the typical stuff. You can find the mod list in the description along with the seed, which should be Dr. Rageheart RC. At the end of the series, I'll always have a world download, but if you wanna play along, that's where you can find all the info. Now, this is surviving with Rotary Craft, but we are going to be playing with Rotary Craft, Electric Craft, and Reactor Craft. They all kind of go together, but the main one is Rotary Craft. And if we look at our inventory, we can see we have a handbook for that, the Electric Craft, and the reactor craft so that's great you start out with them you don't even need to worry about crafting them and let me tell you this mod looks insane i think it's going to be a ton of fun a lot of stuff to mess around with and it's a little overwhelming when you start this is the book it's pretty much like a wiki which is awesome you can flip through all the pages there's all the good stuff production transmission engines all that stuff we can see all the different things in the table of contents here and i assume it's similar for all of these uh, and if we open up and ooh, knowledge is power. That is a very true game. But if we open up and start flipping through the NEI tabs, you can see that it starts here. This is where a lot of the new stuff comes in. And if we flip through all this, there's so much different stuff that we can mess around with. It's going to be awesome. And uh, it looks really in-depth. So to start things out, unfortunately, we can't start doing a bunch of fun stuff right out the gate. We got to punch some trees here. But I do have a plan for today. We are going to get... I believe it's a blast furnace going, or is it a, is it a coke oven? I'm not even, you know what, let's look it up. Is it, is it, no, it's not. So it's a blast furnace. Okay, so we want this thing right here. We're going for the blast furnace. Very easy to make, but we're going to need that, a lot of iron, some gunpowder, uh, some sand, and some coal. So pretty much, I'm going to try and get some starter tools, get a safe little home that I can live in, hop off camera, gather a lot of that stuff, and then we can come back and mess around with it. Um, but I did just want to give you guys a brief overview of the whole series while I'm punching these trees down. Of course, we're playing on hard mode as always. And uh, as for the time being, if you guys didn't quite catch the last couple of videos, I did say that I'm going to have two series going on at once. Uh, I have decided on the next series as being Thomcraft 5. A lot of you guys wanted to see that, and Witchery was also very highly recommended for it, but Chillum has already done that series. If you want to see it, you can go look at it. It's phenomenal. I highly recommend you watch it. So we're going to be doing Thomcraft. That video should be out tomorrow. And as far as I know, I'm just going to be flipping between the two. Uh, every day is going to be... Uh, or every other day, I'll be posting a video for um, the Rotary Craft series, and then obviously in between, we'll be posting Thomcraft. So... Um, yeah, I guess it is time for me to go try and get stuff. Ooh, I don't know what that is. I mean, it kind of looks like coal, but I don't think it is. Let us check this out first and then we will, we will jump off. What is this? Lodestone. Fancy. Haha. -ha. Okay. So I'm going to try and get somewhere remotely safe, do some mining, and then we will hop back and hopefully get into some fun stuff. Okay guys, so we're back and I am currently down in what I would consider to be kind of like my mine. This is just kind of a random cave down here, but I did make a stairwell down here and this is the mine. So I've collected a bunch of resources and I was just getting the redstone now. Uh, I've got a good amount of iron, probably like a little bit under a stack at this point. Lots of coal and some miscellaneous resources that I really don't know what they do. That's kind of what these are, the fluorite crystals and stuff. And I don't know what this platinum ore does, but um, we do have some of the resources that I actually know how to use. Uh, one of the funny things is usually when I go into a mod, I know what I'm doing a little bit. But with this mod, I absolutely have no clue. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, that should be fun. But right now I'm cooking down all the iron we have. So, yeah, it's a little bit under a stack. Um, also, you might notice I accidentally made like a ton of stone axes. So, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. But... What we're going to be doing is setting up the blast furnace. So this is really easy to make. Uh, it, you know, it looks, I don't, I don't really want to say cool. It's not that cool, but um, it's pretty much just the eight stone bricks and a piece of redstone. So uh, we just, oh, I do have stone in my inventory too. So we're all good on that front. We just got to make some stone bricks and we should be, should be good to go. Okay. So there we go. We got, oh my gosh, you can't click. Okay. So we got the blast furnace. And now we can throw this down. This is really a small home right here, and it's in kind of a kind of a casual spot, just a hole in the wall. But I'm gonna expand it a lot in the future when I'm not using stone picks. But I guess we can throw it down right over here. 
and we click on it and there's a lot of stuff going on in here so essentially we're going to put in a bunch of different things over in these columns over here this is where the coal sand and gunpowder is going to go and as each process happens which is going to be processing uh up to nine things in here which is going to be iron it is going to 100% of the time consume the coal. I believe it is 3.6% of the time consume the gunpowder and like 1% of the time consume the sand, something along those lines. So it's not always gonna consume them as far as I'm aware, but we gotta get this thing up to 600 degrees Celsius. So what we need to do is go and get some lava. So a lot of this iron is gonna be used to turn into the steel, but we do need to go grab a bucket of lava and I might actually grab two buckets while we're down there just because why not on the off chance that I want to make a second blast furnace because this one's really slow. Now the trip back down here is excruciating and that's because I made these stairs and they're fine for coming back up but going down your head clips these every time and it's so slow. So I will come back down here off camera before next episode and get rid of this stupid thing but for now we're just going to bear with it. This should be the only trip that I have to actually make back down here during this episode. Uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances and luckily we did run right into lava so I can get this and we can head back up yet again going up and down these stairs multiple times within like the first like seven minutes of the video or something it's probably been like six minutes maybe even um but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to heat up the blast furnace so we got to go below the furnace and we got to throw this down so that should start heating up the furnace you can see it's going up relatively slowly it's really not that fast so i might have to hop off camera and just kind of let it heat up now there is a trick to putting fire next to it which i assume would eventually be netherrack but unfortunately i don't have access to that right now so what i think we're going to do is probably set up two of these so i'll make a second one uh real quick on camera we'll you know set it up the same exact way oh no it needs to be stone brick okay we'll set it up the same way though right next to it and then i'll hop off camera let both of them heat up and then when we come back we'll be ready to throw the stuff in them and start creating steel and i don't know if i mentioned this yet but the reason that we're trying to make steel is that is um pretty much the most important resource when it comes to actually making uh, all the stuff that we're going to need to start out with power with um you know multiplying ores using the grinder all that stuff uh, so if we, I guess we can do this right now. If we go to steel and we look right here, you can see HSLA steel ingot. If we look at uses, we need that for the work table. And essentially the work table is going to be the crafting bench that we're going to be using to craft all this stuff, such as the, you know, any shaft gearbox, all this stuff is going to be created in the work table. And then we use that to make a lot of the different crafting parts that we're going to be using after that too. Just tons of different crafting parts for all types of different things. So that's why we're trying to get the steel. And this is going up relatively slowly. Um, ooh, we can look at the info here. Interesting. I wonder if this will tell us. Huh. Okay, so this pretty much just goes over all the stuff that I said. Yeah, okay. So we can... Ooh, that's really cool that it's got this info page. It kind of brings you... That is awesome. So much stuff in here, though. But yeah, okay. So uh, I'm getting a little bit distracted. But what I'm going to do is hop off camera. Like I said, let these heat up. And then we'll come back and start making the steel. Okay guys, so we are back again and the blast furnace, at least the first one, is about to reach 600 degrees Celsius and if we actually click on the steel ingot and look at the recipe to make it, this one does describe exactly what I was saying. I didn't actually know I could click on it and see this exact recipe where it would tell me the chances it would consume stuff, but essentially what this is, is you put in sand, coal, and gunpowder. Uh, or sand, yeah, sand, coal, and gunpowder, and then the coal is going to get used up. I believe that's what the 100% means. We'll probably be able to find out through the first run if it uses all of it up. I don't think we'd be that unlucky that it would use up a 0.2% chance on the first run, but uh, essentially that's great because I don't have as much gunpowder as I have coal, and I mean, I really don't care about the sand, but we also get no bonus output, and you get one steel ingot per iron ingot. I'm not sure how fast this is, but I guess we will see. So, it looks like it stopped at 610 degrees Celsius. This one's going to get there soon. But if we go in here, I do have five gunpowder. Now, I did have to make a point of actually going out and killing creepers. I killed them with this axe right here, the stone axe. It's the manly axe right here. For some reason, I didn't make a sword. I just thought, you know what? I'd use up one of the, like, four axes I accidentally made. They were supposed to be picks, but they, you know, turned out to be axes. But, uh, yeah, I killed them. And I killed one, and I got two gunpowder, and then I ran into a group of three, or I ran into a group of two, I was ambushed from one, from the side, I didn't see it, and then that one came in, blew up the other two, and I got three gunpowder from the ones that got killed by their 
not so friendly friend. So um, yeah, we can throw these in there, shift click them all in there, and I assume that means it's gonna start. Oh wait, right, what am I thinking? I need the iron in there. Let's put it like that. Okay, it's actually reasonably fast. I just wanna see what happens for the consumption of these. If we actually consume one piece of sand right here, then we are confirmed the un most unlucky people ever. Hey, it didn't use them, nice, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna split the gunpowder, split the coal, and split the sand, and those are gonna go in here. And then we're gonna fill this up like that, and like that, and we are one iron, ooh. That looks really cool. That's like a cool color. I like that color right there, guys. That's like a vibrant orangey red. It's a fire just fueling it. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Okay. So, now that we're done admiring the color of that, we can go and cook down this clay. And we need to make it into... No, we don't want clay blocks. We need to cook it into bricks. And then we need to use that to actually make bricks. I'm only going to cook half of it because in the off chance we need clay later. Might as well save it. But the whole point behind this is making the workbench now, or the work table. And that's going to be the first thing we use the steel for. And I assume we can use this for everything else. So I'm going to break this crafting table right here. And we're going to use, oh, you know what? We can't do that. Oh man, that sucks because you can't craft the crafting or you can't use the crafting table to craft this because you need a crafting table to craft it. Okay, we got it. We understand it now. Okay, we didn't use a single gunpowder there. Did we use some sand? I actually don't know. I didn't count the numbers. If you guys know, tell me. Did we just use some sand? Because if we did, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Because that's really unlucky. 0.2% chance. That's horribly unlucky. Okay, so all we need to do is make some stone slabs and we are good to go. Get these in there. Boom, there's the work table. How is there not an achievement for that? I feel like there really should be. So the first test that we have to use on this thing is, this is gonna bother me so much. Okay, here's what we're doing. We're breaking this right here. We're putting this down there. And then we're putting this, this right up there. Okay, so the first test is going to be, ooh, fancy red. Can we use this like a regular crafting? No, we cannot. Okay, so we can't. So it's a good thing that we now have both of these. So this is used for making all that good stuff that we're going to be using the steel for that we have. And yeah, so that's pretty much pretty much where we're going to end off today on actually the rotary craft stuff. Um, there are a couple things that I do want to talk about. Next episode, we're going to work on getting some power set up. We're going to work on getting some ore duplication because that is the most important thing to start out with. That's really what the main goal is for all of this. So uh, what I did want to talk about is pretty much the series as a whole, because if you guys have never seen Surviving With series, um, hopefully you enjoy it. But the main idea is that I always want you guys to post feedback in the comments. Feel free to post what mods you want to see in later episodes or in later series. Post feedback on, you know, my whatever I'm doing in the episode. I don't know what to say. If I'm telling stories, whatever I'm working on, just post feedback on that. If you want to see anything specific, please let me know because it does help me out a lot, especially with the fact that I'm going to be running two series from now on. It might be a little hard to juggle and be able to prep for stuff if I'm trying to think of what I should do, but I think we'll have a lot of fun stuff to do in this. So uh, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative in any way, didn't really cover that much, but if you did, feel free to give it a like as it does help me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later.